earlier on, I mentioned quantization, and uh, there is uh, no real explanation for quantization, but I think I have one. It's uh, pretty solid. But, uh, you'll be the judge. I have here a um, nucleon nucleus, right, an atom core. An atom core, it's built out of uh, neutrons and protons. This blue shield is a sixth shield. The yellow one represents the fifth, the red, uh, the fourth, third, and so on. So these are the actual uh, shields. When you look at those shields, you have all these nucleons spinning. Again, if you do nucleons, every Q-tip represents nucleon spinning. And over here, this is pretty pointed. There is little play in between, so the protons cannot stretch very much. When they overstretch, they can't, they can they have problems spinning around. So they are limited to a certain length. You also have shallow, more shallow corners. So there's a difference between those angles. The atom structure differs. And if a part of that structure has a sharp angle, there's little play and the protons cannot stretch much out. When the angle is more, well, when the legs are more open, there's more play. And uh, the protons can stretch out a little bit more. So that's the half of it. Second half, um, when a graviton uh, hits an electron, and as we all know, gravitons power the universe. They make those little things spin. When one hits an electron, it transfers the entire energy and the electron will fly or circle with the same speed, same energy. And so when you have a bigger length, the same thing happens, the same energy. So the energy level doesn't differ, but it shoots in reality. And that's why uh, it does actually because all those uh, spinning nucleons, they are um, all synchronized. Well, most of them are. And um, when synchronized, they're not very tight. There's a lot of play in the mesh, so there's still a lot of play. But they are synchronized. Their refs are the same. And when synchronizing all those electrons within that big uh, atom, when you synchronize those and you hit them with the same gravitons going at the same speed, there's going to be a difference between those electrons. This one will go very fast, that one will go very slow because they're synchronized. Their cornering speed is the same. So their angular speed is the same. So this explains why, there is, why the energy levels are quantized within an atom. I take the old model, and they are quantized too. But the old model does not explain why they are quantized. Furthermore, the old model is based on the differences between levels. This level exists because it's the difference between all those levels. That's why levels exist. So they're not necessarily the real levels. They only show the difference between levels. That's the old model. Because in reality, one of those inner uh, circulating protons can have the same circumference and the same ref count as one on the outside. So within those levels, there can be differences, but they also can be the same. That's reality. So these are, well, some are real, but most of them are fictional. When we look at the reality, or my reality, uh, the star life uh, model, there are also different levels. But now um, they are quantized by the crystal structure. Starraf explains why you have those different levels, while the old model, old model does not. So that's about it uh, for now. Um, I hope to see you next time. Bye.